Hello, mate. Hi, mate. How are you? It's hot, isn't it? It is hot. Ever hot? It is hot, without a H. Somebody keeps asking, is it still cold here where we are? What you have to understand is, in the UK, if you're not from here, is that our weather changes, like, twice daily, doesn't it? Well, not today, because it's summer, no, isn't it? but it'll be really cold one day, and then it'll be scorching hot like it is today. Got the shorts on, Greg. Woo! Well, I'm just glad you got your shorts on, because you usually don't wear anything under there, do you? <laughs> Coming up on today's show, we are talking about forgotten 80s cartoons. Nice. If you're a regular viewer of Tea and Toast, you might know that we like to talk about things that people might have forgotten. Like forgotten 80s movies, forgotten 80s board games, and forgotten 80s cartoons. I wonder how many people watch us on the toilet. At least one does. We did have a comment once saying, I watch you on the toilet. He doesn't watch us on the toilet. He's on the toilet while he watches us on the... Anyway, let's move on. Forgotten 80s cartoons, Greg. I'm sorry, I've just had some orange juice and it's... Uh... I'm worried now. I've got cameras in my toilet. <laughs> no, nobody wants to see that. No, believe me. Brave Star. What about it? Do you remember it? I, I remember the name. I, I do, I don't... Yeah, I, I must remember watching it, because when you said it early in rehearsals... <laughs> rehearsals. I, I remember you saying it, and I went, I know it. I must have watched it, but I couldn't tell you anything about Brave it. Brave Star, don't... Right, before we look at the uh, internet stuff about it, what I remember about Brave Star is A, the theme tune, Brave Star, um, B, Strength of the Bear, 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 Speed of the Puma, 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 and Deputy Furs. I have no idea what you're talking about. So you really have forgotten it, haven't you? Let's see what it says about it. I don't remember it. On the interweb. Uh, 1980s American Space Western animated series. Brave Star was obviously a space cowboy. Some people call me the space cowboy. We, we. Was that a theme tune? No. Oh. Flagged again. I know, yeah. Uh, it aired from September 1987 to February 1988. Not very long. And I find that with all of these. What? It's not Saturday. Yeah, we know that. I'm just wondering Let's just why. Pretend. We're, we're going to pretend it's now Saturday. Because we're actually filming this on Sunday this week. <laughs> so, what day is this going on then? It might go on today or tomorrow. So, it's either Sunday or Monday? Yeah. So, it's definitely not Saturday though? Definitely not, no. Right, okay. However, while we're talking about it, the scoop is back this Friday, Greg. It is. We're back on a roll. Yes. Jason's got nothing else to do now, so <laughs> we'll film more. <laughs> um, There's a fly near, Jason. There's I know, yeah. Just ignore it, it'll go away. Uh, yeah, I always find with these forgotten things that they only have a short run. That's why you've forgotten them, though, yeah. isn't it? Um, so, Brave Star was the last animated series produced by Filmation. So, You know Filmation, are, don't you? He-Man. Yeah, exactly. This was the last one they ever produced. Why? Well, I don't know. It must have gone bust, I guess. Uh, so, it originated in the United States of America. Of course it did. Um, the episode ran for 25 minutes. And it first ran in 1987 on the Cubo channel, whatever that is. Any ideas? As I said, it's set around uh, this place called New Texas, a planetary system orbiting three suns, which is uh, 1,957 light years away from Earth. Still with me? No. Anyway, that bit didn't really matter all that much. Um, it was kind of a western where Brave Star was a cowboy. You, uh, Deputy Fuzz was this little fuzzy thing, and Brave Star could call on the spirits of animals to uh, to have powers. How old are you? Shall I play a little clip? Yeah, could you? We'll get flagged, but just uh, just just the tiny little clip. Thing. What is strange? It must be lost. Wonder how it got here. Sure are a funny looking horse, aren't you, boy? We'll find your owner later. Here's another one I'm sure you're not going to remember, Greg. Go on, then. Visionaries. Yeah, I remember that. Visionaries. Yeah, I that's in the magical light. I don't remember the theme tunes. There were words like you do and everything. But toy I line. That. What? I remember the toy line more than the cartoon. They had um, holograms, didn't they? Remember? 
Mm. Do you remember? Member. I remember, yeah. Member. I remember. Um, it was a science fantasy media franchise. Yeah. Consisting of a line of action figures from Hasbro, released in 1987. Hasbro, the best wrestling figure makers well, ever. Hasbro had a formula, didn't they? Where they made some figures, they released a cartoon and sold millions. I think the first one they did was Transformers, when they bought all of the rights for Transformers from from Japan, when they were called something else. Um, so they made the cartoon, sold in droves. Although Mattel did it as well, didn't they, with He-Man. Yeah, but Hasbro. Yeah, Hasbro were the big name. Fantastic. So they do the uh, the toy line, have the cartoon. They wouldn't get away with it now, would they? Because the cartoons were just a vehicle for selling the figures, weren't they, really? But we bought into it as kids and we wanted all of the uh, things. However, 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 it says here <laughs> that the toy line was not very successful uh, and led to both the series and the comic being cancelled after short runs. The comic that they released lasted only six issues and was cancelled halfway through a four-part storyline. Oh, that would have been well annoying, wouldn't it? Oh, that's how like Superman returned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the animated series lasted one season of 13 episodes and was not picked up for a second. Yeah, but that doesn't make it unsuccessful because all of the others were only lasted for one season, didn't they? Mm. I loved Visionaries. Um, there was uh, another one which isn't on our list but should get an honourable mention, Centurions. Yeah, I remember that one. I bought the duvet cover, remember, in yeah. one of the Retro Collectors episodes. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah I remember um, that. So, again, this was set on another planet, an advanced society where all electronics and complex machinery no longer function, and its citizens are forced to rely on ancient magic. The visionaries are the knights who are split into two factions, the heroic uh, spectral knights and the evil darkling lords. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Mm. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. All right, Celine. Here's a clip. Yeah, here's a clip. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Sorry, I butted in a bit there, didn't I? Sorry, Jason, don't hit me when this goes off. For your blinding speed and dexterity, I grant you the totem of the fastest animal in creation, the cheetah, Cravex. For your deed, you shall earn the totem of the only airborne scavenger on Prismos, the Phylot. Now, one of the most 80s theme tunes ever for a cartoon called Pole Position. Remember that? Pole position. <laughs> were you were you around when I was? Well, you're older than me. Yeah, you sure these are aces? Yeah. I'm not 60s. Pole position was based on the computer game Pole Position. The racing car. From Namco, yeah. yeah. Um, it was produced by DIC Entertainment. Uh, it was used under licence from Namco, who held the rights to the name due to the video game Pole Position. So they sought to uh, capitalise on the popularity of the video game. Um, it ran for 13 episodes in 1984. Sure, again. Of, I know. Part of the Saturday morning children's programme lineup on CBS. It returned in reruns for a few months in 1986 and then a run on the Family Channel in the late 80s. Uh, we probably saw it on our Saturday morning cartoons, didn't we? Going live. Yeah, going, going. Tell me. Tell me now, why is the channels in this country never have anything in the morning now like that? Because I read something about this the other week and they don't think that children will ever engage with TV again like they did when we were kids. And I, I, having kids of my own, and you'll notice when Mia starts to watch TV, is they just watch it when they want. It's on demand. They stream it when they want to watch it. They, don't, they wouldn't sit down at a set time to watch cartoons. Whereas we only had that, didn't we? Yeah. We only had more Saturday mornings and after school for an hour and a half. But tell me why they've completely shifted it then. Because now, here in the UK, Saturday morning programmes are all cooking. Yeah. Every channel is cooking. 80s, going live, then it went to live and kicking. You had CITV version, uh, SMTV Live, all of them. Yeah. Was into, the, into the mid 90s, and then it stopped. Um, but they're, they're not even trying. There's nothing. It's just well, cooking. Actually, Channel 5 are going to try it again, aren't they? Chuckle Brothers are coming back on a Saturday morning doing their own Saturday morning show. So they don't want to get no newbies in now? They just want to keep the old boys going? Yeah. Chuckle Brothers. Well, to me. But it's just available all the time now, isn't it? Kids' channels are on 24-7. Yeah, there's no variety morning Saturday show like that, though. No. 
Absolutely not. Well, I'm telling you, BBC, if you're watching... But the executives who think they know what people want to watch think that children don't need want that anymore. Can you imagine what we would do with a, a set and a studio and a huge budget? No, this is a shed, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, a, a big studio. Oh. Anyway, pole position. The characters were Tess and Dan Durat, Daisy Durat, uh, Dr. Zachary Durat, Kuma, Wheels, which was a little ro... No, that was the... That was the Mustang. There was a little robot, I seem to remember. Where's he? Um, anyway, may not have been in this. I might have been mixing it up with something else. Um, it's out on DVD. All of the episodes are available in the UK. I don't know if they're available in the US. But Pole Position is one of those cartoons when I hear the theme tune really takes me back. can't play you the theme tune because we'll definitely get flagged. But here's a little clip. Now. race will be to the border checkpoint. Each car will have to go through a complete customs check. Are you sure you want to do this manually? I'm sure. On my signal, start. We better get going if we're going to keep up. Last one, Greg. Good. I mean, is it? Yeah. If you remember this, I will eat my shirt. It took a while to get out, didn't it? The Smoggies, Greg. No. No, <laughs> no not Smoggies, Smoggies. Dun, 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 dun. What the hell is a Smoggy? Um, I'll tell you what a Smoggy is. Smoggies is a Canadian animated children's television show by Sinar that began airing in 1988 in the States. The show was aired under the name Stop the Smoggies. Um, and in France as SOS Poulards. It was also aired here under the name The Smoggies. Do you remember anything about it at all, Greg? No. <laughs> the show took place on or around a fictional coral island and revolved around a group of island-dwelling people called the Sun Tots and a trio of polluting treasure hunters called the Smoggies. The Smoggies. The Sun Tots spent much of their time defending their island from the Smoggies who polluted everything around them and lived on a coal-fired steamship, the SS Stinky Poo. This is coming back to you, isn't it? No. Oh. You looked at me then like... No, because oh, yeah. I just thought the name, the SS Stinky Poo. Uh, it polluted the water and air around the island. The Smoggies constantly tried to destroy the Sun Tots' home for their own benefits. I can't believe you don't remember this. I think there's going to be lots of people out there going, Oh my God, I remember that. And they haven't thought about it for years. Well, I might do it when you show the clip. Shall I put a clip on? Put a clip on. Here we go. Oh, you beautiful pups with great big beautiful eyes. Oh, oh, how I love to greet you. Oh, oh, how I love to meet you. Well, I've just watched it. And? No. I've never seen that before in my life. Well, you see, I'd have thought you would have seen, remembered that more than the others, because that actually aired for the first time in the very early 90s, in 91, not 80s, so it shouldn't really have been in our list, but it's one of those that I always think that people completely forget about and then go, oh yeah, I remember that. Well, but it's funny, because I not don't. You. Not you, obviously. I don't remember that at all, ever. Facts for you. It was missing last week. I know. What was? This section. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Greg, say it. Facts for you. Thank you. Um, what is your fact this week, Greg? Well, Jason, here on Facts for you. This week on Facts for you. Have a good time putting that together. Facts for you. Snakes on Facts for you. You're burning inside, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, it's funny, isn't it? What are we doing? Oh. Facts for you. 
snakes can predict an earthquake, Jason. Did you know this? No. They can sense an earthquake coming from 70 mile, 75 miles away and five days before it happens. Now, I don't know which snakes they spoke to, <laughs> but I don't know how they confirm that. I don't. That's all it says. And I believe it's well, on there. It's on the internet, so it must be true. Snakes can predict an earthquake. What, what about they... if they're on a plane? Can they still predict an earthquake? Well, why don't they put them in a box, then, in all the earthquake places, and then just see what happens? Oh, lads, five days' time is going to be an earthquake. Let's get everyone out of here. It's going to happen in a minute. It's happening. It's going to rumble. That's what they need to do, isn't it? Slow eaters are 42% less likely to be overweight or obese than fast eaters. Even normal speed eaters have 29% lower risk of being overweight. That's my problem, I'm eating it too fast, Greg. It is that, that is the problem, Jason, you do eat too fast. But the other problem is the seven burgers you ask for when you go into <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> I'm just going to slow it right down. That's going to help, that's all we need to do. So you, you think then, going in and ordering your usual double cheeseburger as a, a starter... A Big Mac meal as the main, and then, I don't know, whatever you throw at the end of it. You think if you spend bit just a bit more time, time eating it, it's gonna drop you off. won't pile it on. I can't wait for the results. <laughs> facts for you. That was Facts for You. Facts for you. Facts for you. Facts for you. We've yes. done it, Greg. It's a rollover. Rollover mystery sound. You don't know what it is. No. We it is, do. It is not a pogo stick. Everyone thought Lots it was a pogo of people stick. said pogo stick. Do you know what the best thing about this mystery sound is, Jason? What? I came up with it. You did? It was one of those moments where I was like, is that a good idea? Yes. And it's worked. First week ever. So we're rolling it over. Does that mean we play a bit more, or do we just play again? No, we play it again. Oh, uh, that it? Yeah. Okay, listen up then. This is the mystery sound that is rolled over from last week. I'll tell you what, if no one gets it this week, right, I think we need to give a prize away. I am. I think we should do it. We'll see. Okay, go on then. <laughs> what is the mystery sound? I love it. Do you want to hear it one more time? Just one more time, Jason. And brace yourself well, because here it comes. Here we go. Oh, a little bit extra there. A bit extra. Uh, yes. So, yeah, what is it? What is that noise? It's not a pogo stick. It's not a pogo stick, which was the most common answer last week. So, if no one gets it this week, then we'll somehow arrange some sort of prize to be up for grabs. And now, I know for a fact somebody in the middle of nowhere will win, and we've got a set and there, and we'll have to spend £3,000 on postage. But I don't think anyone's going to get it ever, Jason. I don't. And do you know what's really clever? The system that we play that noise through hums. And I think you've just turned it off with your foot by accident, so it's not humming anymore. Well done, Greg. No, I didn't. Oh. Just a minute. When you're ready, Greg, just a minute. Clever this week, Jason. This is clever. To the person who stole my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my word. Now the reason... Shh. The reason that's a... Clever. Time for a commercial. No, break. the reason it's a clever, Jason, is because word is a part of office, isn't it? So you, what I'm saying is you've stolen my word and I, you've got my word. So I'm saying... Shower gel, the shower gel for men. Links, because first impressions last. Oh, my leg hurts like hell, Carl. I'm gonna need some help, mate. Well, there's a place about 20 miles up the road. Don't go running off now, will you? <laughs> oh, great. How long before the flying dog gets here, mate? Oh, heck. 
Australians wouldn't give a castle mine for X for anything else. This is the week we return. We are returning. On Friday we'll be back with the scoop. And we might even throw another one in the middle of the week. If we can, we'll try it. But we for the moment we're just committing to the scoop. We are back. The scoop on Friday and we're back on Saturday. <sighs> it might even actually be a Saturday as well. I doubt it. <laughs> we'll see. In the meantime... We've had no pictures, cartoon no, drawing. Send us something that you would uh, like to see on the screen, or if you'd like a shout out. We want a cartoon drawing. We'd of like us. some drawings of us. If anybody out there is an artist, please uh, keep them clean. Yeah. TNT at totgoo.com. That's t n t at t o t g o o dot com. Doesn't have to be in capital. Doesn't. Oh. What? I said, oh, ow. I thought that's what you said. Um, that's it for this week. Come on, England are on in a minute. <clears throat> we'll see you on Friday for the scoop, if not before. So, so, what do you mean before? What we if are... we throw another one in? Oh, yeah, I got you, yeah. So we might do that then? Yeah. I just thought you was just pretending. No. So we might do it then? We might. Am I getting paid Probably extra? Probably not. Do I get extra? Yeah. In my wages? Get double. Double or nothing? Yeah. This is the place to be. Woo!